It takes a long time to see everything that's in the painting. And then it kind of reaches into you and grabs on and says, hey, wait a minute, come back and take another look. I remember thinking to myself, this is a, gonna be a fun thing to do. We never in our wildest dreams imagined what was gonna happen. How we spent time running to restorers, running to framers. We have been in more cellars, more attics, than you can possibly imagine. Anything beautiful that would attract us, we would kind of study it and say, is this something we might want to own? Paintings of the White Mountains, still lives, watercolors. It became a huge part of our life together. We gradually realized that we were just custodians. And we started looking for a custodian to take the paintings over after we quit. After considering several places, we fell in love with the Peabody Essex Museum. The collecting journey of Sam and Sheila Robbins spans almost 70 years. Through this lifelong collecting adventure, they have added significant acquisitions of 19th and early 20th century American art. But they've also paid attention to the overlooked and undervalued artists, especially women artists, including Marguerite Pearson or Olga Sears. The gift of the Robbins Collection expands our American collection in ways that tell new stories, not just about New England, but about the nation. What do you think? Oh, gorgeous. Sheila saw that. She said, we must have it, we must. It's often bittersweet to part with a collection, but that act of generosity is an act of giving the art to the public. Museums are uniquely positioned not only to care for the works, but make them available to audiences through gallery displays, through exhibitions, and through publications and scholarship. It was a love affair with art. I'm hopeful that our paintings will be a source of satisfaction to the world for generations to come. <laughs>